Good evening. Good Sunday evening, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy almost New Year. Here we are again at Kevin's Sports Cards and Memorabilia for a Sunday evening case break. Welcome back. Any of our returning participants who have joined us before. Had a little bit of a layoff. It's been a couple weeks. We took some time off here because of the holiday season. But we jumped right back in. Last weekend, so much good stuff going on in the NFL. Couldn't resist, so uh, on Christmas Eve, we loaded these uh, auctions up and got them going. So, tis the season. And uh, pretty much the NFL didn't disappoint last weekend and doing a pretty good job this weekend, too. So, with all that football frenzy, what better way to cap the season off with a case break? And here we are, and we're ready to go. So... As always, I, you know, welcoming you all. Thank you for participating in the break, bidding, winning, paying, everything. Everyone was excellent with that. It always uh, makes life a lot, a lot easier. And we've got full participants. All teams are purchased. And, yeah, hopefully we'll get some good good hits tonight, have some fun, and uh, ride off into uh, 2019 on a high note. Usually take a minute here, too, just to... See if anyone is going to hop on and watch the actual live feed so we don't rush into it. And I'm just going to go over some, quote, ground rules, housekeeping stuff, and then we'll do the rosters of who's got what, and then we'll break away. Um, as I said, you should know. Um, obviously, it's Kevin the Sports Cards and Memorabilia. Been doing, uh, really getting into the breaking game a lot in the past six months. Mostly baseball. We've delved into football here a little bit, but always open to everything and anything else. If you have any interest in other teams, sports, products, whatever, shout it out. I'm game. If I can get my hands on it, um, I'll do it. It's fun. This is about you guys. I just love doing the breaks and hopefully sending people home with some good stuff. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Welcome. Glad to have you here, and hopefully uh, you'll do well, and hopefully we'll, we'll make you regular here with us. So, in general, try to do breaks on Sunday evenings once a week or so, um, maybe every other week. Kind of just depends on the season, what products are out, and all that. Um, Dave Deb, okay, yep, that's what I thought you were. Um, yep, so that's all good. Um, like I said, uh, the breaks are you know our main main. Um, item recently here we do these through facebook live it'll be posted on facebook on my facebook page and then it'll also go to my youtube page hoping that next break which maybe will be next week we're going to actually transition to do the actual lives through youtube because it seems like a lot more people have access to that and then facebook could be the backup so keep an eye out for that um other than that i concentrate mostly on baseball cards with a little bit of football some of the other stuff, again, I will do special orders if people want them. Um, I also deal with a lot of memorabilia. So I'm a Steiner Direct dealer, so if you have any Steiner products you're looking for, please let me know. Um, I don't keep much in stock anymore because I just kind of order as customers like them would like stuff. Uh, but I can get a whole lot of stuff, and I usually uh, prices are usually pretty competitive. And with that said, I'm just going to, I don't know how much you're going to be able to see of this, but I have this one here in stock right now i'm sure everybody's seen this one at some point that's a good old nintendo controller with bo jackson's signature from tech mobile being you know my heyday there played tecmo 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 let's see if i get that in this shot yeah it's hard to see his auto up there there you go with his autograph that's a beauty this is one that i will i've sold a couple already People love that piece, and quite honestly, if that one doesn't sell, I will not mind hanging that one up right here in the home. Like I said, it's got sentimental value. Plenty of hours spent playing Tecmo with all, with all my buddies when I was growing up. So, all right, let's get to business here. Here's our case in here waiting for us. Let me just go through the roll call real quick. And no particular order. We got Doug R with the Colts. Chris M, looking for a Saquon Barkley, Giants. Chris V, has the Patriots and Ravens. Daryl R, the Redskins. Dave from, I don't know, it's Red Barn Events, so I don't have a last name, has the Cowboys and Rams. We got Dave D, has the Jaguars, Lions, and Raiders. Delbert M, with the Bengals. 
Jeremy B. with the Texans. John B. with the Panthers. Joseph R. the Eagles, who I believe they just finished their game. They won, so the Eagles are still alive, waiting on the end of that Minnesota game. Josh H. with the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Mark E. with the Browns, who last I saw were making a little bit of comeback there to try to finish off with a winning season. Gotta love those Browns there, coming up strong to finish. Giving a bright future for next year. Matthias L. has the Cardinals. George P. with the Bears, Bills, Chargers, Saints, Steelers. Jack S. with the Packers. Jason H. the Vikings. Jason D. Falcons and Titans. Jace L. with the Broncos. Mike B. with the 49ers. Robert S. the Buccaneers. Uh, Roberta H. with the Chiefs and Dolphins. And Tyler rounds it out with the Seahawks. So, all right. Ah, Deb, that's Deb Dave. That's you. You're right, Barn Events. Okay, I wasn't sure what name to put down because I got one, one name on eBay, one through PayPal when the payment came and all. Gotcha. All right. All right, we got Melanie here, who's Rockstar Johnny Five. All right. And Daryl, Daryl 66. Cool. All right. Well, thanks again for everybody joining. Nice to have some ladies around here, too. So uh, feel free to chat it up there as we're moving along. I kind of can see my, I got my laptop open and all, too, so I kind of see some of the comments and all. It's hard to see here on my phone, but, you know, we make this a little social event. And try to have some fun. I hope they send people home with some good hits. So we'll break this case here. I'll run through them all here and we'll show you everything we got. We could do a little recap at the end just to kind of show the hits. I will then, after this is over, this will be posted to the Facebook page so anybody could see it again. As long as technology cooperates, which doesn't always happen, um, I will try to get it uploaded to YouTube as soon as possible. Uh, I'm pretty um, on the ball with stuff of getting these wrapped up, packed up, and shipped out. Uh, so hopefully we will all be going out tomorrow morning, um, especially because of the holiday, to get them out of here and get them to you. So usually in whatever, two to three days maybe, sometimes a little extra, I guess with the holiday and stuff. Um, seems like shipping is a little, little slow still, but... Probably, I would say, by the end of the week, your card should be to you. So, all right. So, here we go. Love it. Exciting stuff. <clears throat> First box of the day. And just a little preview going forward, too. We will be doing another unparalleled break in the near future. That could be, I haven't decided which one's going to be the next one, so it could be the one next week. Um, I do have some baseball coming up as well. I forgot what I got there. Um, I think it was 2017 Tops High Tech Baseball, I believe. So that's the two I have on deck. But not sure if any of you are crossovers to the baseball world as well. But all right. I was opening these. I got these uh, as a Christmas present, too. A box of these for my nephew. These guys are a little tough to open. Packs are sealed tight. We aren't messing around. Okay. Here we go. Remember, you'll be getting all non-veteran, all cards except veteran base cards. So. Richard Sherman. We got our blank piece in there. I think Anthony Miller went out today. And Dalton Schultz. Jeez, was Schultz the one in the giant game today that like had the three touchdowns? That guy was unbelievable. He played, he, he, he was like out of this world. First. Dallas tight end since 1973, I believe it was, to uh, score three touchdowns in a game, which is pretty amazing considering uh, Jason Witten all those years, Jay Novacek before that, 
And then this guy, never had a touchdown pass in his career. Walks away with three today. I just never understand why they shuffle these cards around like that. Just to make us crazy, I think. All right, here's our first hit. We got a Doug Baldwin. High Flyers jersey. Doug Baldwin, Seahawks. So that one. Seahawks, that's going out to Tyler. Uh... Debbie, ask me Jarvis. Um, not sure what Jarvis with a question mark means. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm no, not um, Iron Man's com you know, computer there, if that's what you're asking. Or something else, not sure. If you clarify, I'll try to uh, respond to you. Well, somebody else has a clue. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I'm really struggling with these. I'm just going to grab a scissor for a snip here. Darwin, that's it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Fingers just don't want to cooperate here. All right. Going to try to organize these a little bit more so I'm not flipping back and forth on every single one. All right. Here we go. Yes, there you go. Thanks, Deb. I, uh, I was watching the game, but kind of working at the same time, so I was picking up a little bits and pieces. Trey Quinn. I said that Giants game, and I'm a Giants fan, um, was probably the most entertaining meaningless game I've ever watched. A little slow in the beginning there with some of the turnovers and all. But definitely picked up there in the second half. That was a ridiculous catch by Cole Beasley there to score that game-winning touchdown. Of course, very conflicted watching the game. You want the Giants to lose, get a better draft pick. But it's always a chance to beat the Cowboys, even though it really didn't mean too much. Ride that momentum going into next year. All right, here is our auto. We've got a Marcel Aitman of the Raiders. Marcel Aitman of the Raiders. That's a rookie auto. And let's see here. Raiders, Raiders, Raiders. Where are they? Who's got the Raiders? Never can find the team I'm looking for in the list. That goes out to Dave D. Dave D taking home the auto. Moving right along. Van Der Esch. Now there's a heck of a player. He is a good linebacker. Teddy Bridgewater. First touchdown pass in what, th two years? Something like that today? It was nice to see Teddy getting back out there. Alrighty. Hey, Pat. What's up, buddy? Merry Christmas to you, too. Thanks for joining in. I don't know if you... I, I saw your post the other day. You had uh, pinned me on that with that uh, Saquon Barkley auto. Oh, that's a nice card. That is a nice card. I, I am definitely jealous of that one. Here we go. So I don't think we I said it, though I'm sure everybody read the description and also. You get two autos and one memorabilia. With of course the on average statement. There's a Baker Mayfield rookie. So it was a nice one. So we got one auto and one memorabilia out of this box so far. We got three packs to go. 
So we should be getting another auto coming up here. Mm, this one looks like a good one here. Let's pull this guy out. Could it be the future of the New York football giants? The Kyle Luetta auto jersey. If you watched them against Washington a couple weeks ago, doesn't look so good. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's an auto rookie. Kyle Luetta. The Giants. That's going out to Chris. Chris M with that one. <clears throat> I was honestly, I was really surprised that the Giants did not play Luetta today at all. Really, I mean, I think he was in there a couple of plays as a wide receiver at one point. <laughs> Split out. But I would like to see him get a little bit of action, get a little bit more of an assessment on the guy to see just how, how much potential, what we got here, what we're working with. Oh, yeah, Pat, these cards are sweet. Um, first time I've actually had them. Uh, I was... Once I once I got these and busted open a box with like with my nephew, I don't, I don't think you're on yet. So I got him for Christmas one box of these and a couple other cards. These are sweet. Uh, I'm really surprised I was able to get them because the product is not easy to come by, especially if it's a, a good looking product and this is a reasonably priced as well. It's not not you know not breaking the bank. So whether you're a kid, you know, or an adult, you know, you can kind of afford it. It's a good looking card. Getting these the two autos per box, which is nice. <clears throat> I mean, it's not like I decided to get myself a couple of these, and these are like three hundred dollars a box, and you get the, whatever the four cards in it. Now, granted, it's all auto and memorabilia, but <laughs> that's a lot of cash, and most people aren't going to spend that on it. And the real bummer is that it wasn't a very good box either. <laughs> I think uh, Austin Hayes was like my biggest hit out of that one. Austin Hayes. This guy, I've seen way too many of his autos <clears throat> this year. Tops loaded him up. So, so I listed that on eBay and somebody grabbed his auto right away. So somebody loves him. Ugh, Alex Smith. Poor Alex Smith, jeez. There's a hot rookie, Lamar. Two of them, back to back. All right. One down. Yeah, the museum collection is awesome. I do love them without a doubt. They are gorgeous. It's just that price, man. And to not get, like I said, for, for the box I opened, to not get much out of it was uh, a little discouraging. I have one more. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to sell it or open it myself. Box number two, so here we go. We're ready to go with more, two more autos and another memorabilia. DeAndre, guy is amazing. Michael Thomas, that's not too shabby. Marcus Davenport, rookie. And here's a Barkley, rookie base card, but still. Not too bad. I was able to snag a bunch of Barclays in a couple shows I did recently here at the end of the year. And kids were just going after those like crazy. And those, the Donalds, uh, just base cards. You know, so it was a couple bucks. I was doing them $3 a piece, two for five. Kids were loving that. It's perfect, perfect price. Let the kids be able to get their cards, have some rookies. Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> Trubisky. Bradford. Speak of the devil. 
Josh Rosen base card. Jaws. Miller and Mr. Schultz again. All right, I'm like turning away here as a update. I was trying to see what the score of that Ravens Browns game was. Couldn't catch it on the TV though. Anybody know that? Anybody has a score? Post it for me. It'd be greatly appreciated. All right, Devonta Booker, Chris Carson. He looks like he's turned into a heck of a player too. Baker Mayfield. It's a rookie card there. Got another Lamar Jackson. Baltimore, 26-24. All right, three minutes left. Thank you, everybody. I have a friend who is a huge Browns fan. So he is loving life right now. He's actually... Out in Cleveland right now, visiting family. All right. Auto Relic. Jalen Samuels for the Steelers. Jalen Samuels. Steelers. Auto Relic. And the Steelers. Uh, where are we at again? That's George. George P. Getting that one. McCoy. Mr. Kamara. Mariota, that should be another good one tonight. Absolutely unbelievable to see what Andrew Luck has done coming back here this year. <laughs> I, I, I really say you'd have to uh, give him strong consideration as an MVP because of how bad the Colts were when he's not playing. And to see the season they've turned in here with him back in action. Obviously a very significant and key piece. All right, second auto relic. We got Royce Friedman of the Broncos. Solid rookie. I think he's out of Oregon. Splitting time with Lindsey in that backfield. Royce Friedman, Broncos. And that one's going out to who had the Broncos? Jace. Jace L. And we got a Rosen, rookie. Landon Collins. Which I should say here, I don't know if you... There we go. Part of my... Here's Mr. Collins right there. My, part of my collection myself. Auto mini helmet. Okay, I think we got one more coming out of this one. We had two autos so far. We got one more memorabilia should be coming out of these next few packs. Okay. Bosa. Andy Dalton, victorious. That's a interesting combo. And you know, Will Hernandez and the Giants. Solid rookie season for that offensive lineman. Yeah, I hear some cheering going on there in the background from the TV, Pat. So that's the game I got on right now. Alright, looks like we're getting our relic out of this one. And we have a DJ Moore. 
DJ Moore relic. That's the Panthers. Panthers, and that would be John B. John B. taking that one home. On my phone, I just saw it popped up. That uh, Dirk, Kirk, uh, Kurt, right? Cutter. Uh, just got fired for the Buccaneers. He's not coming back next year. B.J. Hill, my hometown favorite there. He had a pretty solid rookie season as well. Give the Giants a little hope. Yep, and it does look like they're Pittsburgh is one. I just don't like Pittsburgh. I just can't, cannot, cannot find anything redeeming about them. All right, last pack of this box. So unless we get surprised, we shouldn't be seeing any hits out of this one. All righty. Next one, next one. Back in the game here. Come on, where's the... There's a Saquon, a Baker, one of these guys. I want a big hit here. I want a big hit. Starting off first one, we got a Ronald Jones, the second. Ronald Jones, the second. Auto Relic. That's for the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers. That goes out to Robert S. Robert S. Chris Goodwin. Breland Speaks. That's a great name. <clears throat> so, hey Pat, how how old is your son? <clears throat> Any, I, I'm assuming from some of our conversations we've been seeing on here, he's pretty much into football, right? Football cards. Nine, huh? Nine. Is he like nine going on 32? <laughs> uh, Tyreek Hill. And what are you guys? You guys also Giant fans or Jet fans? Well, obviously, I think it's Giant. Yeah, you're Giants, aren't you? There's the Saquon stuff and all. That's right. Silly question. Should I know that answer? That's good, man. I'm glad he likes the collecting. It's, you know, it's such a, it's, it is really fun. I mean... Used to love it as a kid, you know, I got away from it for a while. And then, you know, came back to it after getting out of college and stuff and not having to go to mom or dad or worry about allowance to uh, go buy some packs or whatever. Now it's kind of become a, <laughs> a vice, a little bit of an obsession, I guess, here. <clears throat> Which led me, obviously, to doing this stuff and it's a little bit of work now, too, so... But it's fun work, so that's always really good. I actually have uh, Joe Young to blame for it all. Because he's the one who really got me back into all this stuff. K 
can't remember what year exactly it was, but it was after we were out of college. He had his his uh, office. He's a chiropractor. Had Tiki Barber coming in to do an autograph signing. And here we go. We have another DJ Moore. Another DJ Moore jersey. Well, that's not. I mean, good for John B, but bad for us. I'd like to see a switch it up a little bit here. I don't want double dips, especially not the same card. Um, so yeah, so he had Tiki Barber coming into the office to do like a little promo. You know, so the patients come in and they can meet Tiki, get a picture, an auto and everything. And uh, he asked me to run out and get some jerseys for him. And the trade-off was I'd get a autographed jersey out of the deal. And if I just, well, you know, was running around for him, and, you know, just picked him up over when I went to Models or something like that. And that was it. That's what started it. That jersey went up in the house. And it turned into baseballs, photos, so on and so forth. I basically took over my parents' basement with all the memorabilia and pulled the cards back out. And yeah, that is, geez, going into 2019, so I don't know, it was like 2000, 2001, something like that. So... But yeah, it's good, good stuff, good fun, man. It keeps you interested in the sport. It teaches about the history of it too. It gives you some interaction if you want to trade and stuff. Go to the shows, whatever it may be. So I wish more, more kids would get back into it and all. Because I mean, that was part of the fun of it was going over a friend's house. I mean. Looking at each other's collections and trading, things like that, and searching it out, and whose parents were around to drive us to a card show, or whatever. Remember all those years ago, uh, looking at Mr. Hodum's collection. Because he had all the good vintage cards back then even, you know, the 60s and stuff, 50s. Oh, my goodness. He had so much good stuff. Love to look at that. All right. Here's our second of this one. Jalen Samuels. Auto Relic. For the Steelers. Is that the second one of Jalen also? It is. Oh my goodness. Second one of Jalen. That is unbelievable. Two duplicate hits already. That is ridiculous. They definitely need to be uh, sp spreading this out and switching up these guys. I wonder if we are just having really bad luck or this was something they did across the board with this product. I think if they did it across the board with the product, people would have been complaining about it. Usually you hear it through Beckett or whatever, some of the blogs and stuff like that. So, all right, so I think we got, we have one more coming out of here. Nope, we do not. Yeah, he had a rocking collection, Pat. Wow, that was great back then. He said all the... All those vintage cards, which, you know, back then, too, like in the 80s, geez, they, they, I mean, they were just starting to really take take off in value and price because, you know, that was when the, the hobby was exploding. It's <laughs> one of those things, again, I only wish we knew then what we know now. We could have grabbed some of them at good prices. <clears throat> so I like this new stuff, uh, vintage. I don't care what sport it is. Vintage stuff is, is, is king. It really is. Alright. Box number four. No more dupes. No more dupes here. Come on, Panini. You gotta help us out here. 
Everybody, everybody watching here, we gotta, you know, channel our our case break karma. Mr. Mahomes, he is ridiculous as well. All right, all right, here's our good one. We got ourselves a Josh Rosen relic. Not an auto, but we got at least a relic. So here's our rookie of Rosen. So Cardinals, Cardinals, Cardinals. Matthias L. Matthias L. taking that one home. So at least that's good. At least we got it. There we go. It's a solid hit there. Need some more of that. Need more of the rookies. Our top rookies. This class has got a good six, eight guys that are top notch collector's pieces. We need those guys. Des Bryant. <laughs> There's Mr. Luck, who we've been talking about. Larry. A lot of quality. Quality player, individual. Larry Fitzgerald is. Who would have thought how good he would have been? And everybody, I think, knew he was going to be good, but I don't think anybody thought he was going to become one of the all-time greats like that. Here's our hit out of here. The Buccaneers again. Buccaneers. The Riley Ferguson. Riley Ferguson Auto. Buccaneers. And the Buccaneers is Robert S. Robert S. That's his second one. We had the Ronald Jones earlier. Freeman rookie. There's the base card. Top of the pack here, Jalen Ramsey base. What a dysfunctional team they turned out to be, the Jaguars. A little controversy today there. All right, here we go. We got the Cowboys. We got a Mike White Auto Relic. I will say that jersey piece is pretty cool there. It's a nice spot to have it. So Mike White with the Cowboys. And that one is Dave and Deb. There you go, Deb. You got yourself a hit. So yeah, I mean, did you did you hear about Tom Coughlin going off on uh, Fournette and Yeldon today at the, after the game. Oh my goodness. Jacksonville just can't get anything. Anything right. A glimmer of hope coming in this year and wow, did they just crap out. Whew. I think they might be taking over for the Browns. Strahan, Michael. I think I hear in the background here, it looks like the Ravens are going to win. Oh, too bad. Bummer for the Browns. The Ravens win. Does that mean the Steelers are knocked out now? The Ravens take the division.
Jimmy G. Another BJ Hill. Everybody loves a rookie punter. Mariota. Is he playing tonight? I don't know if I heard a official announcement yet. I right, said so not looking good. Let's see here. Is the spacer again? Yep, yeah, it's just the spacer. Ezekiel, another one, Ezekiel. Okay, we got one more in this box. Again, can't remember here if we uh, had our, all our hits, so we're gonna get one more out of this. Don't remember, I think we have all three ready. Hits out of this pack. All right, so obviously this is a pattern of doubling up in there. I've seen it happen multiple times. The Josh Allen base auto or base rookie. Sorry, not auto. Misspoke. All right, halfway home. <clears throat> Let's go, let's go, let's go. <clears throat> you gotta, gotta pick up the pace here. You gotta pick up the pace with these. Get some better hits out of this for you guys. All right, let's see what this one is. Curtis Goodwin going to the Bucks again. Curtis Goodwin, Bright Futures Relic. The Bucks, Robert. Robert's got three hits tonight. And we have a Sam Darnold base rookie. Mr. Goff in the house. Mr. Goff. Welcome and good evening. Merry Christmas, sir. Merry, Merry Christmas. <clears throat> How's things going over there? Enjoying your winter break? Staying out of trouble? Sorry, oh, I showed you the Dez there. All right, all right. What's up, sir? What's up? Hopefully, you've been having good holidays and everybody's well. Family's doing good. Kids haven't driven you too crazy over Christmas break to the point where you're ready to go back to work, school. <laughs> No hits coming out of this one, this pack. Drew Brees. Another Zeke. There's a Rosen base rookie. <laughs> I hear you, man. I hear you. Where are we going here? Come on. Nope, not in this pack either.
Duke Dawson. Calvin Ridley. I'm oh, sorry, I went blue through that one. That's a Calvin Ridley rookie. He's been pretty popular across the hobby. Not a bad first season for him, but definitely people are interested in him. Alright, we still we only had the one hit so far to this box. So we got two coming. And two autos, as a matter of fact. Speak of the devil, here we go. Maurice Hurst. Maurice Hurst for the Raiders. That's our first auto out of this box. Raiders, Raiders, Raiders. Who's got the Raiders? That's going to Dave P. Dave P. I believe that's his second, second hit here tonight. Congrats, Dave. There's the follow-up base card, as we've learned very quickly. But that's the pattern. Yeah, Jeremy, they almost pulled it out. They played well. They did. I almost feel like that last that, that last drive though, when they had the ball there, was awful. I feel like they uh, might have thrown that. Set up. You know, what? we're just gonna sit here and take the better draft position, because that was nothing like how they played the whole second half. And with his leg, he could have kicked the ball from 60 out, so they barely needed any yardage. I have no idea what those plays were. It made, just made no sense to me whatsoever. Spacer or hit. Spacer or hit. What do we got? All right. Here we go. Now I feel better. I feel a whole lot better. Baker Mayfield. Auto relic. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Who we got there? Brown. That's going out to Mark. Way to go, Mark. Now, now, I, now, I at least now I could now I could sleep better tonight. Now we got one of the top hits here. Very nice. Let's see. Hopefully, that leads us to a hot hand. We can ride the momentum of Baker. Let him lead our our case break like he led the the Browns here in the second half of the season. Yep, Pat, that is a nice hit. Now, now I could now I could be greedy and want more and more and more. I want a Saquon. Definitely want a Saquon. Which, um, especially since we got a lot of new people here, whether you're a Giants fan or not, um, I still have JSA authenticated Saquon Barkley blue. New Jersey, or New Jersey, New York Giants jerseys. Got a couple more left in stock, so if you're interested, let me know. Surprisingly, they were hot when I first got them, and then died off once, once the season started. Once the season started, he started proving himself. All of a sudden, like, no one, no one was interested anymore. And, uh, yeah, I imagine the prices of his stuff will go up. With the season he had, and if he gets named Offensive Player, Rookie of the Year, and all that kind of stuff, they're going to go up. So, if you're interested, message me. Or you can check out the eBay page. They're in there in the store. I will also say, actually, now that I mentioned it, is that I'm looking into transitioning a lot of my stuff off of eBay. So, if you're looking to come back for breaks and all, I'll probably be putting a lot of case breaks listings on eBay, but... More standard store items will be going into an alternate website. Basically just to kind of cut down on the cost. eBay's been nice, but there's a lot of rules and regulations and headaches. There's a Darnold rookie. 
So we're gonna branch out here and maybe try something else and see how it goes. Because the nice part is, you know, the more the more of those fees and stupid things that I gotta follow and everything, I could cut out. The better the savings and stuff I could pass on to you. Um, that's pretty much what I do. You know, if I'm gonna save a dollar on something getting off of eBay, uh, you know, it'd be like 50 cents to you, 50 cents to me as a customer. So, all right, we got Mike Jizicki Auto Relic. That's the Dolphins. Mike Jizicki. Dolphins are going to Roberta. Roberta gets that hit. Nice. With the Dolphin Blue. So, yeah, so my, my goal here is to, like I said, try to find a easier accessible site, better pricing for my, myself and you. Because the way I see it is, again, with pricing and all, I, the better prices I give to you guys, the more likely you're going to get involved. And again, the, the, the you know, the hobby, everything's going to take off. And that's the, that's the part, you know, that's the big part of it is the involvement, getting people to be able to participate and afford this stuff. So it's not all out of reach and stuff, because then it's no fun. You got a lot of guys out there, these dealers and stuff, who they just like to jack the prices up and seriously take advantage of people. And that's 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 not the that's not the way it should be. There's a way to do things, and you can do them right. And again. Kind of the best for everybody. Alright, so that was two so far in this box. So I think what we got? One more relic or do we hit that up? Uh, I think we got one more coming out of this box. So a couple packs left to go. I didn't even notice this before. I got the Raiders uniform. Put the Ravens down here. Did not even notice that earlier. Another Lamar Jackson rookie. Yes, Josh, I will recap. I'm going to recap the hits at the end, yep. Not going to go through, you know, all the base cards. But any of the autos and relics, I will show those off again for you. So, don't worry about it. Better late than never. I'll say you got a couple darn old base cards. I think there were two of them in there, maybe, so far. But, unfortunately, no autos or relics are... Gem of the day was our Baker Mayfield auto jersey. And we have, let's see, three more packs. There's a Bradley Chubb rookie base. Got three more packs here. And two more boxes after that. So, got what, at least four more, four more autos, two more relics coming out of here. I can't remember here if we got one more coming out of this box. Yep, there we do. And this one is DeAndre Hopkins, the High Flyers. A little white jersey piece there. Hopkins. That's a solid one. I would take a DeAndre, pretty much any of his stuff. And let's see, where's the Texans? Jeremy B. Jeremy B. taking that one home. Congrats, Jeremy. Hopkins is just sick. Ugh, it's just great to watch him play. He is so strong. He's got good hands. See? Yeah, I was having a discussion with somebody the other day about him and how good he is. And, you know, he's been so good on that team. And realistically, they have not had a quarterback, I mean, in his whole career. 
He played with nobody's there. Um, you know, they shuffled through those quarterback left and right in Houston, and yet he's still putting up crazy numbers. Uh, if, if he had played with a breeze or something like that, I can only imagine what his overall numbers would be. There's our double Patrick Chung. DJ Moore, we've seen a couple of him today, uh, including the double, double relic of him. Panini, I tell you, nothing worse than that. Panini, nothing worse than that. <laughs> All right, we got our last hit out of this box. This is a nice one. I'd say you could be pretty happy with that. Got a Cowboys, Charles Haley. <laughs> Look at that. He's got a little smiley face in the sea, too. <laughs> I've, you know, I've seen a couple of Haley autos. I never noticed if that's like his thing, if he does that for all of them. So, so that's the Cowboys. Cowboys. And that one's going to, there you go, Deb. You got yourself another one, Deb. Congrats. That's a pretty good one. I would say again, Hall of Famer. We'll take a Charles Haley. Yep, I'm assuming all those uh, little emojis popping up there are from you, Deb. It's good stuff. And hello, Mr. Adam. Mr. McFarlane in the house. I see you popping in here. Checking out what's going on. Probably sitting there smiling away after your, your Eagles won today. So, did they get in now? I'm assuming the, that Vikings game is over. So the birds flying into the postseason. All right. Two more boxes to go here. We're gonna have four autos, two relics. They are in. All right. I feel like I stop crying. Well, you don't have to be all worried. Right there. Playoff bound again. All right. Let's see here. What do we got? We got our stat factor, Ezekiel Elliott. I keep that one a little separate since it's different cut. Another Rosen rookie, followed up by a Rosen rookie. One insert, one base. I should say, since you just hopped on, Mr. McFarland, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you. Hope all's well, you and the fam. been quite some time since we've crossed paths. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I, this is pretty good, too. This is pretty good. Got a Ricky Williams. Auto. For the Dolphins. Ricky Williams. I did not even know he was in there. Ricky Williams Dolphin Auto. So that one. Where's our Dolphins at? That's going out to Roberta again. She's got a couple. Very nice. <laughs> well, Adam, you missed the Baker Mayfield. That, that was my, my big one here today so far. That was our big hit of the day. Auto Relic. Baker Mayfield. Telling everybody's got a. There's another Darnold. What is that, Josh? You got your base card again. I said Adam, you know, you got, you got to, ch you got to channel the, uh, you know, the case breaking gods here. Get that good karma going here. Wish me, wish me some luck. So 
I was definitely having a string there doing the baseball breaks for a while where I was rocking it. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know if it really is possible to have a hot hand like you would, like, you know, with a hot bat or shooting a, shooting a basketball. But that's what it felt like for a while. A couple weeks of doing the baseball breaks, we were getting some good stuff. Machados, Aaron Judges, I mean, you name it, we were getting some good, good. And even the low end hits were all solid too. And then came Austin Hayes, like I mentioned. <laughs> Austin Hayes and who is it? Uh, oh, the one pitcher for the Diamondbacks. It seemed like all of a sudden he was everywhere. But football's been good so far. I haven't done too many football breaks. This is number four, maybe. I just don't, you know, I don't follow the football quite as much in cards as it is. So I don't know the products as well, which is why I've been slow to get in on it. And like I said, if anybody has, you know, input, opinions, they want to, want to, want to look, uh, do a break, let me know. Um, that's why the the next baseball break I'm doing was a request by uh, somebody, a breaker from a couple months ago. And I was finally able to just kind of come across and track down a case of it for him. I don't know. I... I Contacted him, told him I was going to do it. I don't know if he's joining in or not, but I said, hey, what the heck? We'll go for it. So, yeah, if there's a if there's a specific product, you know, that you guys like, has good hits, whatever it may be, you know, or is it more, you know, affordable, too. Um, you know, sometimes that's more up your, 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 your alley. That's fine, too. You get something that's a little bit on the lower end of the price range. The only thing I will say is that if it's a product that has, you know, only like uh, like one auto or relic in it, and uh, I'll give you an example. Um, so, like, if you were to do, uh, like, in baseball, I did a top stadium called Case Break. The break took about three hours because there's so many boxes in a case. There are so many packs in a box and so many cards. That was... It was painful. <laughs> I was worn out after the end of break. It really was. Um, so yeah, if I was doing a break like that, I don't think I would do it live again. I would probably kind of do it off screen and just kind of show all the, the hits afterwards. All right. We got a Devante Adams relic. Devante Adams relic. It's going out to the Packers. And the Packers, where are they at here on my list? The Packers, Packers, Packers. I'm not finding them. Somebody has to have the Packers. Jack. Jack S. Jack S. Getting the Packers. Devonta Adams. <laughs> He's had himself a pretty good year. All right. Last pack in this box. I think we are still do one more. There's a fat card in there. I think we pulled the spacer on the first one, so. All right. This one is a Burt Jones. It'll be the Baltimore Colts. So that'll be going to Indianapolis then. And the Colts, Colts, Colts. Going out to Doug R. Doug R. Burt Jones in that. Actually, that's number 12 of 52. 12 of 50 also, not 52 is in the number. Actually, I didn't really show too many of the numbers. I don't think I showed the, the numbers on almost anybody. I've just been looking at the fronts there and just... The glitter has been throwing me off. The glitter and glam. Christian Kirk. All right. Here we go. 
All right, our final box here of the night. Let's finish with a bang. So where's Saquon? Where is Saquon Barkley? <clears throat> so, after we finish this box, as I mentioned, we will do a quick recap of the hits. Everybody can see them who maybe missed out earlier. This video will be posted on the Facebook page right after we're done here. And as soon as technologically possible, I will have it uploaded to the YouTube page as well. Hmm. Well, look at that. You don't see that happening too often in today's world of cards. We have an Eric Carr. I don't see many miscuts anymore. Wow. Interesting. Um, so yeah, your cards will be packed up this evening. And they will be shipped out tomorrow. So we'll get you your, your cards as soon as possible. Uh, Alright Adam, sounds good buddy. Good hearing from you. Take care. So yeah, they'll be shipped out right away so you get your cards as soon as possible. Because, uh, one, I don't like to hold on to them. And, uh, hey, you paid for them, so you should get them. And I take that approach because that's what I'd want. I want my cards in my hands as soon as possible. If you have questions or anything like that, feel free, obviously, to always give me a holler. Like I said, there are plenty of other products and stuff like that, too. If you're interested in anything, in the sports cards and memorabilia, I will say, too, you know, I have occasionally, too, I will, any kind of gaming and stuff like that, you know, the, the Pokemon, Yugi, whatever, all that kind of stuff. I mean, I have access to that. Again, I just, no knowledge of that whatsoever. Um, I do not stock any of it. Sometimes I'll just grab a little bit if I'm having a show or something like that that I'm at. All right, here we have Zach Ertz. Jersey. I got was that four colors. I got quads there. Green, the gray, the black, and the white. Zach Ertz. He had a pretty ridiculous year as well. I'm gonna set that record. Tight end receptions. And there I'll give you a number finally. 3450 for there. <clears throat> but yeah, I could do the gaming stuff too if you're interested. Really only gonna do full boxes there. Because uh, I would don't want to have any of that extra and on hand that can be found without a doubt another Darnold base card <clears throat> I will say and supplies too you know if you're looking for pages top loaders whatever it may be um, I could get those I don't usually do storage boxes just because they're so large and bulky um, I don't order enough to make it worth my while, but I can always get them, especially if you're local and you want to do a pickup or something too. That always could work. We could figure something out. Mark, if you have any questions, I mean, I, you know, I do know, you know, there's not a lot of guys out there, dealers and actual brick and mortar shops anymore, but the people around I could kind of hook you up with to, to find what you're looking for, so... All right, it's all about the networking. What do we got here? Four packs to go. Four packs to go. What do we have? We have the Ertz. Do we have anybody else out of this one yet? I don't think so. I should be getting two more hits out of this. Ertz, and they both should be autos, I believe. Hmm, there's another one. Melvin Gordon. Cut wrong. Hmm. I don't know. He doesn't like the West Coasters. Another Rosen base auto. Or base. I did it again. Rosen base rookie. Whew. I'd love it to be an auto. but Alright. Three, three down. Here to go.
want to boo DJ Moore. That's bad. I'm booing football cards now. Yeah, Sony Michelle. Rookie. Two packs to go. Two to go. I know we got at least one auto coming out of here. One auto. Uh, it might be still two. Finish strong here, boys. Finish strong. What do we got here? We've got the Ravens. Right? Yep, Ravens. Jalel Scott. Auto Relic. Jalel Scott. And that's going out to Chris V. Chris V with that one. All right, here we go on our final pack of the night to close out this break. And I believe and hoping here we're going to finish off with one more hit. Yes, we are. Hopefully this is dramatic. Well, Hall of Fame material. And Deb's going to go home finishing up happy here with yet another Dallas Cowboy. We got the big guy, Larry Allen. Larry Allen. And this one is 17 of 35. 17 of 35. Yes, I include the rookies, Deb. The only thing I don't include is the base veterans. So you get majority of the cards, honestly. Any of the inserts, anything like that, you're getting them all. So, you know, for example, here, sitting on top of my pile, technically AJ Green here wouldn't be getting sent out. Um, but everything else, yep, you're going to wind up getting. <clears throat> all right, so a quick little recap here of our, of our hits. We've got... The Buccaneers, Curtis Goodwin, Jersey. The Giants, Kyle Luetta, Auto Jersey. Marcel Aikman, Autograph, Raiders. Doug Baldwin, Jersey, Seahawks. Ronald Jones, Jersey, auto for the Buccaneers. Broncos, Jersey, auto, Royce Freeman. Our last of the night, the Larry Allen auto, Cowboys. Got the Ravens again, Joel Scott. Auto Jersey. Eagles, Zach Ertz, Jersey. The Colts, Brent Jones, Auto. Burt Jones, sorry. Brent Jones, that's the 49ers tight end. <laughs> Packers, Devontae Adams, Jersey. Ricky Williams. Autograph, Dolphins. Cowboys again. Charles Haley, Autograph. DeAndre Hopkins, Texans, Jersey. <laughs> Mike Jazicki, Dolphins, Auto Jersey. Star of the night, Baker Mayfield, auto jersey. That's the Browns. Maurice Hurst, autograph. That's the Raiders. Mike White, Cowboys again. Auto with the cool jersey there, a little piece.
Buccaneers. Riley Ferguson. Rookie auto. Got the Josh Rosen. Cardinals. Jersey. Jalen Samuels. Auto jersey. That's the Steelers. And no. Not repeating myself. We got two of them. And we got the DJ Moore jersey. Panthers. And again, you're not seeing things. There are two of them. So, all right. That is it. That wraps up our 2018 Panini Unparalleled Football Case Break here on Sunday, December the 30th, 2018. Once again, thank you so much for everybody who participated, got in here, joined us, paid everything, hung out tonight, commented. It's always great to talk to everyone. Um, again, if you have questions, let me know. Feel free to contact me through email, Facebook, whatever it may be. If you have any questions about this product, anything moving forward, I look forward to seeing everybody again. Um, I'm going to do another unparalleled case break um, soon. Could be as early as they might go up tomorrow. I don't know yet. I haven't planned that out. And uh, yeah, we got some baseball coming up and we're starting a new year. So new products going to come around and exciting. So again, have a happy and safe new year. Best wishes to everyone. And like I said, I hope to see you again. Uh, appreciate everyone coming out. Have a great night and a good year ahead of you. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.